Right, we're starting. So thank you so much for um, saying that you'd come on camera and tell everyone how you got on. So tell me or tell us, uh, what was it you were hoping I could help you with when you came to the workshop? Why did you come to the workshop? Um, oh, sorry, well, first tell everyone your name. <laughs> okay. Hello, I'm Marianne Britton. I came to the workshop um, in June. Uh, so I've been on the diet for three months now. Um, and I initially came really because things had come to a bit of a, a climax in my life where I felt things were going a bit out of control, hormone imbalances were just taking over, I was getting stressed, mood swings and depression. Um, sorry, typical the dog's butt. Um, stomach cramps and all kinds of bowel issues are related to the hormones just generally lack of energy. Um, I just felt like I needed some help. I knew something that nutrition would help, um, but I didn't know what to do. So and that's the reason. It was mostly because I felt like my hormones were just going crazy and they were ruling my life. So that's why I went on the workshop. And um, before you came, did you have any reservations about coming? Um, yes, yeah, so a big part of my life is sport, and I've done sport at a high level, so um, I did have big reservations because we're always taught set, uh, so many diets that we're told to go on, and carbs are everything, and you know, you were told so many different things, you just don't know what to believe, um, and also because you've got preconceptions, you just don't know whether someone else's diet is going to work for you, um, and having the confidence to apply it, and also whether I could do it, whether I could still train and exercise and apply someone else's diets and do well. Um, so, I mean, that, those were the, the big things for me, whether, whether I could actually do it and get what I wanted out of it and have enough energy, because most of the time you go on these diets and you haven't got enough energy to do what you need to do. Um, so, yeah, and also letting someone else be in control of your diet is a big, like, a, a big thing for me, because I've always been very um controlling on it so yeah that those were my reservations thank you your honesty is amazing so um why don't you tell me and if anyone else that might be watching what has actually happened to you in these three months how have you changed and what difference has it made to your life um well it's massively changed i I just, uh, there's so many things I've changed, I can't, I can't list them all, um, but the big things are like the hormones have settled down, I feel like I'm in control, for the first time in my life I feel like I'm free of that whole guessing with nutrition, that I know now what works, um, rather than all the time thinking, wondering what is going to work and trying different things, um, and it's very stressful, and also not... I wasn't getting anywhere. Um, so that's been massive to just relieve that stress and be free of thinking about food all the time, which I felt like was just ruling my life. Um, the, and hormone imbalances really have settled down and I'm still improving now. I don't have any of my bowel issues or stomach cramps that I was getting. I used to get a lot of stomach pain. I don't have that anymore. Um, for the first month, yeah, I didn't have... While my body was adapting, I didn't have the energy to do my exercise. That was fine. I accepted that because it was for the greater good, and I wanted to come out the other side and you know see if see if this was going to work for my life. Um, and now I'm back running ten miles some days, swimming, Pilates, yoga, as much exercise as I want to do. I can do it on this diet um, and still feel the benefits from. It, uh, the, the, like it solving other health issues um, I've got more energy now and that's getting better and better all the time I just feel healthier and stronger than I ever have been my mineral levels are back up to where they should be and I know that from when I started the diet I had the zinc deficiency spots on my nails and they've all grown out um, and one of the sort of like quite um notable changes on the hormones is that 
it, it's just a tangible effect is that I was getting night sweats all the time through the winter when it was cold um, and since I've been on a diet I haven't had a night sweat and that's been through the summer so I mean it's just that wasn't one of the hugest issues for me but it just shows it's very tangible to see the change that it's had on the hormones I just feel more in control happier and confident um, I mean yes I have had weight loss and that helps with body confidence and a lot of other issues but it body image was never the main reason I was coming on this diet it was to fix health issues but as a result I've also had massive improvements in my body image as well so if anyone was thinking about asking for my help or coming on a workshop what would you say to them I'd say don't even think twice about it um you know it it could work for you too um I wouldn't change it now I wouldn't I wouldn't go back um any time that I do break the diet a little bit I mean I have adapted it to my lifestyle now and, and including things that's still allowed on the diet as you would advise um but if I don't if I don't stick to it then I feel like I go backwards so I know it works for me um so I just say it's worth worth do it um, and, you know, it is down to self-motivation at the end of the day when you've gone on the workshop, you have to go away and apply it. But you know all the rules. It's so easy to actually work out your meals for the week and just apply it. It's much easier than kind of guessing and hoping it works. I know it works, so I'm happy to carry on. But, yeah, I wouldn't go back. Brilliant. Thanks, Marion. Thank you so much.